Dr. Bharat Pankania, he joins me live from Bath in the United Kingdom. He is a senior clinical lecturer at the University of Exeter. Doctor, great to see you, great to have you. Now, this might sound a bit dumb, but I'll ask it anyway. Why pig? Why not a goat or a cow? Oh, well, because the genetics of the pig are closely related to humans. So what we want to do is when we take the organ from the pig, we want to make it as human-like as is possible. And the pig brings it very, very close. Of course, there are primates that you could also take an organ from, but you don't want to do that. So uh, this is a pig organ, which nevertheless, although it is very, very close to humans, has been altered to be more human-like. Correct me if I'm wrong, in the past, uh, there have been efforts uh, when it comes to uh, pigs, uh, you know, using pigs' uh, organs uh, and transplanting them into human beings. But most of those efforts, in fact, all of them, all of those uh, failed. Why do you think this one was successful? Well, it's early days and there is a lot of hope. And a lot of hope is this thing called CRISPR technology. What CRISPR technology does is it alters the genetics of that organ. So we, we remove all those pig-like features in the genetics of the kidney, for example, and we also insert more human-like features into that kidney before transplant. So these organs, item by item, transplant by transplant will get better when we know more and more about which genes to insert, which genes to remove. So we're learning incrementally, and I'm very confident that as we go learning, uh, we will be more successful. So for example, in this case, they altered 69 gene sequences. So that's quite a lot of alterations. And, but eventually we will know exactly what to alter, what to remove, and we will get a what we call a near perfect transplant. So perfect that we won't even need uh, immune suppressing drugs for a transplanted patient. Wow, that's very interesting. Now, doctor, correct me if I'm wrong, these transplants are not limited to kidneys, right? They can also be done with heart. Correct. Absolutely, and, and liver and other organs. So this thing that we really need to keep our eyes on is CRISPR technology. This CRISPR technology is going to enable uh, organ transplants and other gene therapies as well. This is the new uh, science, CRISPR technology. And Dr. Pankania, before I let you go very quickly, how big of a breakthrough do you think this is? It's very good. It's early days for this patient who's had a transplant. I know that the gentleman had the uh, heart transplant and in there, uh, unknown, unknown, unexpected viruses infected the man and then he died. In this case, they're also being very, very watchful that animal viruses suddenly don't enter into the human and then cause him, Ill, cause him illness and, and death. So early days, but we remain very optimistic. Dr. Bharat Pankania, it's always a pleasure talking to you, sir. Thank you very much for talking to us here on TRT World. You're welcome. Thank you.